Welcome to lesson 57 of EFT Tapping with the Course in Miracles workbook. You can watch lesson one for a full description of how this all works with the tapping. So we've got another review today. Let's go with the side of the hand. Repeat after me to set your intention for this review. I choose today to sincerely review these lessons and allow them to take form and root in my mind. I choose today to review these lessons, allowing myself to absorb and retain their ideas. And I choose today to take time to reflect on each one of these lessons today for at least a couple minutes and allowing that practice to solidify so that these lessons actually influence my life. Okay, now tap where you'd like as we just listen to the comments on each lesson. Number one is lesson 31. I am not the victim of the world I see. How can I be the victim of a world that can be completely undone if I so choose? My chains are loosened. I can drop them off merely by desiring to do so. The prison door is open. I can leave simply by walking out. Nothing holds me in this world. Only my wish to stay keeps me a prisoner. I would give up my insane wishes to walk into the sunlight at last. Two is lesson 32. I have invented the world I see. I made up the prison in which I see myself. All I need to do is recognize this and I am free. I have deluded myself into believing it is possible to imprison the Son of God. I was bitterly mistaken in this belief, which I no longer want. The Son of God must be forever free. He is as God created him, and not what I would make of him. He is where God would have him be, and not where I thought to hold him prisoner. Number three is lesson 33. There's another way of looking at the world. Since the purpose of the world is not the one I ascribed to it, there must be another way of looking at it. I see everything upside down and my thoughts are the opposite of truth. I see the world as a prison for God's Son. It must be, then, that the world is really a place where he can be set free. I would look upon the world as it is and see it as a place where the Son of God finds his freedom. Four is Lesson 34. I could see peace instead of this. When I see the world as a place of freedom, I realize that it reflects the laws of God instead of the rules I made up for it to obey. I will understand that peace, not war, abides in it. And I will perceive that peace also abides in the hearts of all who share this place with me. And 5 is 35. My mind is part of God's. I am very holy. As I share the peace of the world with my brothers, I begin to understand that this peace comes from deep within myself. The world I look upon has taken on the light of my forgiveness and shines forgiveness back at me. In this light, I begin to see what my illusions about myself kept hidden. I begin to understand the holiness of all living things, including myself, and their oneness with me. And so let's just repeat after me the, the titles of each lesson to help you remember them today. So tapping where you'd like, one for each point. I am not the victim of the world I see. I have invented the world I see. There is another way of looking at the world. I could see peace instead of this. My mind is part of God's. I am very holy. Okay, take a breath. Hope that supports you in your practice, and I look forward to another review with you tomorrow or whenever you are ready to move on. All right, take care.